Hey guys, what's going on? James here and Bruce Arians, former Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach, still a senior. What is what is Bruce Arians? He's a senior advisor to general manager Jason Light. And he has expressed a lot of love recently for not just the 2024 draft class, at least according to Scott Reynolds, but apparently, more specifically, according to Rick Stroud, uh, Michael Penix, Washington quarterback, is getting a lot of love from Bruce Arians. So I'm not going to read the entire article here, but this article from Eric Edholm, which is talking about the report from Rick Stroud, there's a lot of reporters going on here, but Essentially, it talks about Baker Mayfield. It talks about how he is an unrestricted free agent this upcoming offseason. In the article that Scott Reynolds had came out with over on pewterreport.com, Bruce Arians had talked about how he loves the 2024 draft class. He has said that it is, you know, going to be one of the best ones, in his opinion. So uh, there's a lot of interesting things going on. I think it's probably one of the best ones in maybe 10 years, said Arians of the 2024 draft class. So that is interesting, but more specifically, according to Rick Stroud, you, you have a guy in Michael Penix who is really getting a lot of love from Arians as well. As far as the football grade, I love Penix because he does things I love to do. He puts the ball up the field. He's as accurate on throws up the field as anyone I've seen in 15 years. Just to fight through that last game, he had that ankle tore up, but what he did to Texas was unbelievable. So then he goes on to talk about this here then play like he did this year medical exports medical experts when you get to the combine they'll tug and pull you'll get the medical grade so it's very interesting arians also then says i think he loves it here the job i mean the job todd bowles did with the new coordinator dave canales new play caller new quarterback uh da, 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 da. the only nfc team to go to the playoffs four years in a row that's very satisfying for me especially so you know a lot of things here from Bruce, again, you, you get this part right here where it talks about might be the best group of quarterbacks in the last 10 to 15 years. Got guys running four, five, forties. Guys are slinging it. The passers are just amazing in this draft. Okay, great stuff, right? But let's focus in on, on Michael Penix because this is a guy that Arians named specifically. And this is a guy that a lot of Bucks fans have been interested in specifically as well. Michael Penix, again, former Washington quarterback, a guy who you know, was able to go to the national championship game, didn't win. They got their butts kicked by Michigan. But I, I really think that Michael Penix, look, there's a reason that so many people are interested in what he can do as a college quarterback. You take a look at the overall stats, 6'3", 218 pounds, at least according to sportsreference.com, in terms of his overall play in 2023 was just fantastic. 36 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 4,900 passing yards. The year before, 4,600 passing yards, 31 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. A big thing for me was how did he look in these big games that he had, right? Against Texas, that's a big school, man. That's a big school. And against Washington, another big school. And he put up three touchdowns to one interception and over 700 passing yards in those two games where his offense scored over 34 or more points twice. Now, against Michigan, things kind of fell apart. Michigan has a fantastic defense, and that is certainly notable. Him, you know, kind of falling apart there in that big game. But there's a lot to like with Michael Penix. I understand where Bruce Arians is coming from. Two of the big things here that are worth talking about with Arians' comments is... Number one, I love Penix because he does things I love to do. Everybody knows Bruce Arians' offense is a vertical, you know, streak, deep passing type of offense and throwing the football a ton, right? Michael Penix can exceed in that type of offense. How would Michael Penix look in a Liam Cohen style of offense, a more West Coast style of offense, akin to a Dave Canales? That is an interesting question. Another thing that Bruce Arians brought up, and another thing that is very notable, is Penix suffered season-ending injuries in four straight seasons from 2018 to 2021, torn ACLs in 2018 and in 2020, and shoulder injuries in 2019 and in 2021. Arians said... You take a look here, they'll they'll tug and pull, you'll get the medical grade. It's going to be a really big deal for that medical grade at the NFL Combine. One worth paying attention to. Also, we've been talking about it a lot, and Bruce Arians does mention it here, about Mayfield possibly re-signing. I still believe that that is 100% going to be the case 
for the Bucks is that Mayfield's going to be re-signing. But if that medical grade doesn't necessarily go the way, you know, a lot of teams would want it to go. If Penix were to maybe fall into a second round type of situation, maybe the Buccaneers could be interested. Is that the right answer? Is that the wrong answer? Uh, you know, I could see both sides of the argument. I could see, hey, why not take a, a, a chance on this guy? Because the stats are obviously there and the big game ability is somewhat is 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 somewhat there as well. But the injury history is going to be a concern. Like very, very similar to what happened to Hendon Hooker last year, right? He was a third round pick in that case. Uh, if Penix by some way, shape, or form did fall to the third round, then yeah, I would say the Bucks should be totally interested. I don't see that happening. He looked really good at the senior bowl. I think he's going to look good at the combine as well. But, you know, you do have former Bucks head coach Bruce Arians saying he likes him a lot. But it's also important to consider, like, Bruce Arians isn't the head coach anymore. He's not the offensive play caller. He is not the offensive mind. It's Liam Cohen. Who did Liam Cohen work with? Baker Mayfield. But I do feel like it is still an important thing to consider because, you know, Bruce Arians does still have some type of role, some type of input in this organization. And it was worth noting because a lot of other reporters are talking about it. Stroud's talking about it. Scott Reynolds is talking about it. And I wanted to talk about it because I know Michael Penix is a guy that has been on a lot of Bucks fans' minds and is a pretty darn good quarterback. So we'll, we'll end up seeing what happens. Of course, if Baker Mayfield re-signs for big money, I'm pretty sure that that puts the kibosh on this entire thing. But maybe not if he falls to the second round. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about Bruce Arians' comments and on Michael Penix down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.